Hello, welcome back to Evil Genius Props. I am Mike, your Evil Genius today. And what we're gonna do today is go ahead and do some upgrades. And I finally got my air assist and a honeycomb table for my Elegufecta laser cutter. So we're gonna go ahead and put those on. And uh, a couple other little things that I printed off just to make things a little bit easier. Uh, quality of life improvements, basically. So we're gonna get started on those. And uh, we're gonna start off by opening up some boxes. All right, well, this is what was delivered to me yesterday. Uh, both the honeycomb panel and the air assist set. Uh, what I love about this is that they're actually taped together. Like, they're not in one box that holds both of them. They're just taped together. Gotta love that. Creative problem solving at its finest. Now, so this should be the honeycomb which I'm looking forward to as I may have burned my workbench. Doing a cut earlier, let's see how this works. Still not entirely sure. These are kind of Yes, and this goes underneath the panel, but it doesn't actually say anywhere. But in the meantime, here's the good stuff. There are out there mounting brackets for this that I think I might look into to print off next, but for right now, I'll use that. Right. Let's open up our air assist. This is the air pump. Kind of wish it just plugged into the effector rather than having a separate power plug, but I guess that's okay. Looks like this screws into there. I guess that's going to go there, but I'll get to that part later. Alright, so it looks like there's a little set screw. I watched the installation video, so it looks like this is supposed to go here. I don't want to put that in all the way. We just want to have that set so we can put it in there. So I watched the install video. It looks like what they had done was flipped their machine over. So we'll flip ours over. Actually, this looks nice. Get to the freaking laser. All right. Set screws on that. It looks like this just slides right onto the nozzle. And use our little set screw that we installed to lock that in place. Okay, of course I forgot to film this part, but just slide the tube through the little holder that we just put, just installed, plug that into there. I take that out to show you how that works, but it doesn't want to come out now. All right, plug this guy back in. And now, I want to run the 
tube along the cable. left this a little bit loose just to let the tubing slide if necessary. And this actually also brings us to one of our upgrades. So it comes with that little clip on the bottom there. But we, what I've done, printed off this little guy. And then that'll help me keep that up and out of the way. And we're actually going to use the same technology to keep that out of the way as they use to tie the tubing, which is to say zip ties. So the other thing I printed off are these little guys. And these are just mounting brackets for the legs. So this way, the table's just always in the same, or the effect is just always in the same spot on the table. So if they just fit right here, and we're gonna drill a couple of pilot holes and then put in some screws. And that'll keep the this in the same spot every time because reproducibility is important. So we wanna have this always in the same spot. We don't want it to move around. And then like I said, I think I might print off the mounting bracket for the honeycomb so it's always in the same spot because I believe it actually ties into one of these legs. So holds it in the same spot so we're again consistency on this is key so we'll drill a couple of holes put in some screws head out to the coast have a good time there is just a little bit of an offset here between the tabletop and the frame so i'm just going to put a little bit of a shim underneath that and then when i screw through that'll hold them both together Last time was one of them sort of shifted after I had the first screw in. So I'm going to tape it down to hold it in place while I screw this other one in. Now, granted, if you don't have your machine in the corner, I'm sure this is a lot easier to get to. It should be nice and locked down now. Where everybody fits into their holder. Right, let's try this out. See how we do. We've got a base wood sheet. Let's do one of those with a giant sticker. All right. I do have a preloaded image here to so do a test print with all my new toys. All right, we're all set up. Let's go ahead and do a test run with it. All the, uh, the fancy bits. We're going to carve out uh, pieces for a Christmas ornament. Kind of works. Christmas ornament exchange. Right, we didn't go all the way through in some places, but that's fine. I'll take care of that. I'll finish cleaning these guys up off, off camera and show you the finished result. And here it is. I printed out the different pieces. Just stack those guys up. Guess that one goes there. Then I'm just gonna glue those up, maybe stain them. Maybe stain them differently so like the plate with the snowman stays white, the 
to stain these guys differently. I do like a walnut on this guy so it's uh, more clearly the night sky. But there we go. Upgrades worked. Air assist team to help keep things from getting too smoky around the, the laser. So, worked out pretty well. That's it for today. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out my other videos on the FECTA.